David. Thank you so much for giving me a little bit of your day, your weekend. Of course. How are you? I'm well. How are you doing? I'm good. Very happy to be talking to you. Huge fan of, of the film of your script. I've seen it twice in two different countries, and I've been following your work for a while. I wanted to ask, this is your third collaboration with Luca from A Bigger Splash to Spirit. Now this, how have your collaborations changed, evolved through time? I mean, I think as we've become closer friends, I think that you know the, the trust we have for one another grows. And it, I think it, it encourages us to try to take on projects that are more and more complex somehow. Uh, I, you know, Luca knows I have his back, I know he has mine. That we can take real risks and sort of dare each other to do some fairly odd and interesting things that maybe you wouldn't necessarily want to go down that road with collaborators you didn't completely trust. And so that, that's something beautiful that, is, that works both on the friendship side as well as the, the professional side of our relationship. Absolutely, and you can tell the risks you took. And you are no stranger to, to writing horror stories, but this feels like such a different beast. You have, obviously, great source material. But I wanted to ask, how is your process in, in adapting this from the pages of the novel to your own pages and the little nuances that you found in, in such different tones with a romance horror movie that requires such different levels of emotional intensity. Yes, it's, uh, it's, it's something I find fascinating. I, I, I've tried so hard to learn Spanish and I've tried so hard to learn French. I'm a terrible student of language, but I'm a good student of grammar. And so there is a, there is a way in which every genre has its own very specific grammar. And so I find having writing films, whether they're adaptations or not, that combine a number of genres to be really interesting because you can play with different grammars, you can play them against one another, um, you can start a, a, a scene in a film like this in the grammar of a road film, you can end it in the grammar of a horror film, it can pass through the grammar of a love story in the middle. There's just a way that this becomes um, sort of like three-tiered chess. You know, if you really love to play chess and you thought, well, there's actually a chance to play it on two additional boards, there's something intellectually exciting and also emotionally exciting about writing a film that exists in a multiple uh, set of genres. Yeah, the, the film just feels like it continuously challenges your notions of, of the genres, and that's all right from the script. Then. And I wanted to ask, what were the biggest challenges in, in bringing certain moments, certain scenes, certain aspects of the novel to your pages that maybe didn't make it to the final version of the script and to the film? Well, I think it's, it's an interesting process making a film like this because the script is the, obviously the first thing that people read and, and their decisions whether to go forward or not with the project are really predicated on how well the script works. And so sometimes I feel that it is a sales document as much as it is an artistic document. So, I've learned over the course of my career to put some extra things in the script that aren't meant to be shot or meant to make the final film, but that are meant to clarify some things for the collaborators, for the potential financiers. And so there are definitely more, there's a little bit more rule, rule building and world building in mythology building, we'll say, in the script. Um, but it was really obvious to Luca, you know, when he read it, what, what was there to get the project up on its feet, but that we didn't actually need to shoot or c keep in the final cut of the film. Um, so that's something that's a challenge, is knowing how to convince a group of people in one medium, which is the textual medium of a script, to make something that's in a completely different medium, which is a visual medium of, of a film. And I've learned over, the, over time how to, how to put some extra special sauce in the script to get people um, to the point where they can say yes with real confidence that they know the thing is going to work. Um, but then you take that special sauce away and you have something much cleaner when you actually make and edit the film. Well, the special sauce was all over the film. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm chomping at the bit for more, no pun intended. Thank you so much for <laughs> Thank giving you. your time. Thank you very much. Thank you so much to all my monetary supporters, my members, and my Patreons. Love you guys.